Hey everyone, welcome to Showcase 7, Video 3, the results. 25 of you entered and we have flagged this, also enter the ghost flag. So before we show you the results, we're going to reveal the ghost flag. We asked you guys which flag was ours and Zui correctly guessed our entry. Our entry was number 21. So here are the results of Showcase 7. In 25th place we have entry 25 by Mansfan with an average score of 2.45. Next is entry 13 by Dung Dung which scored 3.14. Next we have entry 2 by Communist Greece 1 with a score of 3.32. Next up is entry 20 by Zuchi Guardian which scored 3.41. Next is entry 5 by Hugh Mongoose with a score of 3.86. In 20th place is entry 24 by Zui with a score of 3.95. In joint 18th is entry 15 by Valerizo who scored 4.14. Also in joint 18th is entry 12 by Mystery Guy which also scored 4.14. Next is entry 17 by Mexican Dude which scored 4.27. Scoring 4.64 is the flag of the Greater London Council which means 16 of you beat this official flag which was used from the mid 60s to mid 80s. Next we have entry 23 by the one true Kellen which scored 4.68. In 15th place we have entry 26 by Lemonis with a score of 5.09. Scoring 5.23 is the official City of London flag so well done to all of you who beat this one. Next is entry 7 by Ailes Panda which scored 5.23 the same as the City of London flag. In joint 12th is entry 1 by Sebastian with a score of 5.27. Also in Giant 12 is Entry 18 by Person, also with a score of 5.27. Person was formerly known as Peruvian Person and before that went by the name of Yakusha. Next is Entry 6 by Revan which scored 5.45. And now for the top 10. In 10th place is Entry 11 by Sanford with a score of 5.77. In Giant 8 is Entry 10 by Gabe which scored 5.82. Also in Giant 8 is Entry 14 by Lolo, also with a score of 5.82. In Giant 6 is Entry 4 by Froggy with a score of 5.91. Also in Giant 6 is Entry 19 by Joel which also scored 5.91. In 5th place is Entry 9 by Greensy which scored an even 6. In 4th position is Entry 8 by Hakusei with a score of 6.09. And next we have the Flag This Ghost Flag which would have finished in 4th place with a score of 6.14. Congratulations to the top 3 which beat our design. In 3rd place is entry 16 by Chibotero which scored 6.45. In 2nd place is entry 3 by Xander Dorn which scored 6.55. And the winner of Showcase 7 is entry 22 by Pineapple Pizza with a score of 6.68. Congratulations to Pineapple Pizza, a first time entrant to the Showcase series who comes out on top. In a few moments we're going to be reviewing the winning flag but first we want to give a couple of shout outs to some of the other entries. First we have this entry from the One True Kellen. This was another first time entrant to the showcase series. The One True Kellen wanted the flag design to fit in with the strong heraldic history of Britain. So while this means sacrificing on simplicity, we think she did a great job in creating a unique design that fits in very well with British traditions. The flag also comes with great symbolism. Clearly a lot of effort went into the creation of this flag and she told us this was one of about a dozen designs she came up with for the showcase. So all that effort is greatly appreciated. Our other shout out is this entry from Ailes Panda. Ailes Panda has competed in every showcase so far and in our opinion this is their best design so far. It combines elements from the Union Jack and St George's Cross. It's topped off with a charge to represent the London Eye landmark. One suggestion we would make would be to make the charge larger but other than that this is an excellent design. So now on to the review of the winning flag. We're going to be using our 5 principles scoring system but also we'll be giving it a personal review. So let's begin with the 5 principles and simplicity. The blue field as well as the red and white stripes at the highest are clearly very simple. The charge is a simplified version of the Tudor rose. The outer ring which depicts the petals is a little difficult to replicate accurately and therefore the flag loses a couple of marks, 8 out of 10. The aspect ratio is 1 to 2, the same as the Union Jack. The blue rectangle, made using the golden ratio, symbolises the Thames River which crosses all of the London urban area. The central element is a simplified version of the Tudor Rose, a historical symbol of England. The red and white stripes are also a symbol of London and England, 10 out of 10. 
The flag has three colours, which are all part of the standard set. The flag has good colour contrast throughout, 10 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals or coat of arms, 10 out of 10. The flag is also distinctive, 10 out of 10. So calculating the numbers, we have a total overall score of 9.6 out of 10. Now for a personal review. Like most of the entrants, Pineapple Pizza played it safe with the colours, choosing the colours of the UK flag. Blue, white and red flags are probably the most popular three coloured flags in the world and with good reason because these colours work so well together. Some people complain that these colours are overused. For a London flag, we think these colours are definitely appropriate. And just like the colours, the overall design is also pretty safe and conservative. Simplifying the two rows and using vertical stripes certainly generates a thumb up from those who are firm believers in keeping flags simple. Most of the best city flags in the world are simple. The flags of Amsterdam and Chicago are two examples of city flags that have flown with pride throughout their respective cities. So the question we would ask is this, would Londoners enthusiastically adopt this as their flag and display it? We're not entirely sure about that. Taking everything into account, we're giving this flag a score of 9 out of 10. Congratulations once more to Pineapple Pizza and coming up soon we will have Showcase 8. But before that, we will have the updated Championship Leaderboard which we'll try to publish as soon as we can. So until then, see you all later.